Imagine my surprise when I thought that, hey, you know, this kind of feels like Ready or Not, a little different, and it's written and directed by the guys who made Ready or Not. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Abigail. I missed this movie when it came out in theaters. I didn't know it was made by these guys, otherwise I would have gone and seen it or would have tried to. But unfortunately, the big kind of twist reveal of the movie was spoiled for me via trailers. Big surprise, how often does that fucking happen nowadays? Jeremy Johns actually had a really good point. Trailers used to be our friends, but now they are almost our enemies. Either way, this film follows a group of heisters, kidnap this young little girl from this rich estate and then take her to this mansion of which they are then told to wait 24 hours for the negotiation to go through. And if there is one complaint I'm gonna make right off the bat, it is this premise. I get that they needed to get into this mansion. I know that they needed to get these group of people, these people with jaded pasts and whatnot and criminal entities to come here to be in this building for the whole story to basically happen. So whose kid is she? A very wealthy man who's about to be $50 million poorer. But it's such a weak, yeah, to give it. But then once the film does start, once you start to learn more about these characters, their own histories, who has the specialties of what, and then when they start to get picked off, rather quickly creates this sense of urgency and terror amongst the very well-placed humor. There's some really well-written wit in this film. There's some pretty good jokes and a lot of that also is held by the performances from everyone in this movie melissa barra kevin duran who i i feel this guy can just play a funny big guy no matter what he tries to do Catherine noon did a decent job and dan stevens dan stevens absolutely kills it once again doing this off-brand character truly 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 the best person in this whole movie is alicia weir the girl who plays abigail phenomenal job by her she's able to portray every facet of her character in a very believable and very convincing and very frightening at times way. I think that it's her performance that really is the cement that helps keep this movie together. When there are kind of like, why is this happening sort of isms start to sprout. Something that I really liked about Ready or Not is every time you were thinking something that the character should do or shouldn't do, the character would do it. Abigail, not so much. The idea that these guys are locked in this building and they can't get out um i've never really liked that idea unless they do steal doors like you know like barriers on windows and whatnot because there are certain things that happen in the film where they're in a room that has light being portrayed through the the wood it is more than just maybe light it is sunlight but they couldn't have just like bang 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 that and gotten out these are little nitpicks amongst the film because once the twists are the kind of the crux of the movie is revealed to you stuff really gets started there is so much blood and gore in this movie it is stupendous. There's also certain sets in the film, which I swear it makes me think of the ending of Wanted, the scene where Angelina Jolie kills everyone, including herself with a curved bullet. And the film does keep you on the edge of your toes right up until the end. And even though it does have somewhat of a near on two hour runtime, it does have good pacing, I felt. I felt that there were good jokes, good humor, good twists, good scares to keep you invested, somewhat overlooking the, well, that's kind of dumb. And that the ending of the movie does come out as a bit of a mishmash of, oh, was that a good idea? Or like, oh, okay, maybe that's a little bit one too many twists. But overall, I feel that Abigail does what it's meant to do, if only slightly very kind of very noticeably a recycled version of ready or not not to say that i don't like this kind of horror that these guys have made but it's very clear that they're starting to run out of that creative juice especially after their latest screen movie and then the fact that they're basically just re making re ready or not again here i can see why some people maybe might not have been as enthused with it it's a formula that shows that it works and fortunately it was just a uh, matter of circumstance of being ruined by its own trailer so i have tried to avoid the twist as much as i can but if there are those of you who have seen the movie i'll say what the twist is after i give my review but in the end my rating for Abigail is a 4 out of 7. It's an enjoyable movie. It's a fun little horror comedy. You know, I think it's worth your time to watch it on Amazon Prime. At least it's on my Amazon Prime. So yeah, the twist that Abigail is a vampire. 
and there's kind of a little bit of variation on the, the vampire lore. Still a vampire. What are we talking about? Like an Anne Rice or a True Blood? You know, Twilight? One of my favorite fucking jokes is when someone's holding up something that they think is garlic, but it's like, that, those are onions, you idiot. I just love that shit. Again, more twists here. Like, I'm revealing stuff here. When Dan Steven kills Gina Carlo and the blood goes everywhere and he's standing there and he's got blood all over the glasses, that's such a fucking sick shot. So fucking good. And then he's great as the vampire villain of the movie even if that just very much feels thrown in at the very end it's i fucking hate ballet it's trying to give you that multifaceted who can you really trust sort of feeling to it and it pays off sometimes and sometimes it doesn't but you know what it was a fun romp and i had a lot of laughs hope you enjoyed the review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe and that's it for me guys this is the last review before i go but I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys enjoy what's to come over the next uh, couple of weeks. So, otherwise, hope you guys have a great September, and I'll be making new videos again when I come back in October.